Hey guys, and welcome back for another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really adorable pineapple plushie. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're going to start off with this um, yarn here. And it is called cornmeal. And then for the top of the pineapple, we're going to use this in spring green. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to make your magic circle. And then chain two and two. I am working with the 3.50 millimeter hook and of course if you want a bigger pineapple then use a bigger hook. So now I'm going to do 11 double crochets into the center of this magic ring for a total of 12. And 11. So now I'm just going to tighten it up. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first one. And there's my magic ring with 11 for a total of 12 double crochets. Now I'm going to do chain two. And then I'm going to do two. Double crochets in every stitch. And that should give you a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so here's the base of my pineapple. So we have one, two, and then three rows. And this will make it sit nice and flat. So now I have 24, and then I'm going to slip stitch, and 
then I'm going to chain two, put another one in here, and then I'm going to do one double crochet and then two in the next. One and two in the next. So this is just a regular, um, you'll find this in the majority of crochet patterns that have a flat circle or a hat. You're just slowly increasing. So I'm just going to continue this row doing one double crochet and then two double crochet and I'll meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so now once you have that row done, you're just going to slip stitch and you should have 36 stitches around. And then the next row will actually be starting the alligator stitches. Um, there are a few ways to do the alligator stitch, but the way we're going to do it is we're going to do all double crochet. And the reason why we're doing that is because it is going to be a plushie. Um, normally there will be holes here, so because we're doing a plushie, we're going to do the double crochets and then that will stop the um, filling from coming out, which would be a problem. So for that, that means we're just going to do a row of double crochet in every single stitch. So it's just going to be 36 stitches around. So since this is a pretty easy row, I will leave you and I will meet you back when we are finished row four. Okay, so now that we have our 36 stitches, we are now going to start on our alligator stitches. And to do that, we are going to chain one, and then we are going to do we're going to take this post here and we're going to do five double crochets on that post. Okay, so this is one half of the alligator stitch. So here is example. So here's the one half. And then we're going to do chain one and then we're going to work on the other half. Now because there's 36 stitches, um, this pattern goes for every five stitches you're going to have one shell. So, and then you need a plus one. So it's going to be five shells will complete each row. So now I'm going to I'm going to chain one, and now I'm going to turn my work over, and then I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to find the next double crochet which is this one and I am going to go in it backwards and I'm going to do uh, five double crochets here too so you're basically going down the first post and then up the second one 
three, four, five. And then when you flatten it out, you have your first shell. So then you're going to count one, two, three, and then you're going to put a slip stitch in there. And that's going to help hold down the shell. So you're kind of tacking it. So then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then your sixth one, you're going to start doing five double crochets again. So it's a little bit of a stretch, but it's okay. It'll be fine in the end. Four. Five. Chain one. I'm going to turn it around. Yarn over. Find that second post. And then put my hook in it. So I'm going towards the, the first shell. First half. One more. And then you're going to go to your third double crochet. One, two, three. Put a slip stitch. And then count one, two, three. And then start your shell again. So I'm going to leave you here. It will help you also if you kind of pinch that post up. So I'm going to leave you here to finish the row and I will check back with you once you have completed. So you're going to have a total of five shells and we will start working on the next row. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five. I've just finished this last shell. One, two, three. I'm going to tack it down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to designate two double crochets are going to go in between the, these two shells. And I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to double crochet and that'll be two chains and then I'm going to go under the beginning of the shell put one two and then I'm gonna do the third one inside the shell and then I'm going to do and I kind of go behind and then do another one. You can find a spot. It doesn't have to be perfect, so if you don't actually get it into a stitch, um, it's okay as long as it's in there. Um, the top of these shells will be covered up by the you know the, the shells that will be going on top of it. So there are stitches back here. 
So if you want to get them, get it in there, then you can. But like I said, you don't have to. You can go into the top of the shell if you want to. So in between each shell, like I said in the beginning, we're going to have two. We're going to have two double crochet and we're going to put that in the same spot. So these two double crochet that are in between these two shells, this is where our next shell is going to go. So they're going to be, as you can see, they're going to be staggered. Each row will be staggered. And then when we go to our next one, and then we do two, and then go inside, and then again, do two behind the other side of the shell. So all you need to remember is that you're going to have five double crochet on this shell with one being in the center and then two in between. So I'm going to leave you here and I will meet you back when you are finished this row. Okay, so now that we're at the end of the row, I'm just going to slip stitch into that chain one and then I'm going to start doing my double crochets I'll do chain one and now I'm going to do my five double crochets two three four, five, then chaining one, turn my work, and then go into the next post, and then do another five double crochets. Three, four, five, five. All right. So that's how that's going to look. And then we're going to go to that. double crochet that's right in the middle of the shell and tack it down and then we're gonna go in between these two shells those two double crochet and we're going to start making our next crocodile stitch or alligator stitch right onto that post So from here I'm going to leave you and we're basically just going to do what we did here. So make sure there's five stitches in between and then you do the two double crochet that were here. Put your alligator stitch skipping those five double crochets and then here's the next two that we're going to do our next crocodile stitch on and then I will meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so now I'm done row two, or row um, two of the alligator stitches or crocodile stitches. Um, and then I'm just going to just do a slip stitch. And 
then because I'm between the two shells, I'm going to go one, two, and then do, I'm going to do another double crochet where that first chain was. And now as we go up, you will notice that we are going to be doing every other row will be exactly the same. So how there is a shell here, there will be one here. So this is the two double crochet that we're going to do the following shell on. And then we're going to do, just like in the row five, we have one, two, three in the middle, and then one, two. So five double crochet behind every shell. And in the middle. One, two, and then now you're in between the two shells, so we're going to do two, and there isn't really a stitch there, so you kind of just want to, I mean there is a stitch there, but it's kind of buried, so you just want to stab it, because there's a stitch behind, and then where the shell was, there's one stitch that's like kind of going across it, so there's kind of like two stitches there. So I'm going to leave you here and I'm just going to continue on doing five on each shell and then two double crochet in the middle and I'll meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so now that we're done that row, I'm just going to do my slip stitch and then we're going to continue on doing our shells. Um, so now that we've gotten this far, I'm going to leave you to finish the rest. And when you are done, you will have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of these shells. So, so far we've already done two. So we're going to do four more. And if you um, get stuck, then you can refer back to this row to see how we started out. Um, but it will be the same for every row until we get to the top and then we'll start our decrease and then learn how to make this little stuff. I don't have eyes yet. I made some eyes but I'm not sure if I like them. I kind of wanted to maybe put some doll eyes. Work in progress. So I will see you back when you are done. Six rows. Okay, so now I've finished the six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am just going to do a slip stitch into there and then we are going to start doing the decrease. So as you can see, we're going to do one, two rows of decrease. So what I did was I did a chain two and then I'm going to do one double crochet in this side of the shell, one in the middle, and then one on this side. So as the last rows that we're doing we did five double crochets per shell so now I'm going to do three double crochets per shell and then do one in between the shells so one Two in the middle and three with one in between. So one, two, three, and then one in between. And I'm just going to continue this around and I'll meet you back at the end of the row.
Okay, so now that we're at the end of the row, I'm just going to slip stitch. Chain two. And then I'm going to do two um, double crochet two together. So to do that, you will yarn over, go through your first stitch, yarn over, go through two, keep those two on your hook, yarn over, go through the next stitch. So now you have four on your hook, yarn over, go through two, then you're gonna have three. And then go through all three. Let's do it again. Go into the one. Go through two. Yarn over again. Go into the next. Go through two again, leaving three on your hook. And then. So now there's one stitch and two stitches. So I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around until I get to the end of my row. Okay, so then again, once you get to the end, you just do your slip stitch. And then you're going to tie it off, but you're gonna leave a really long tail. Okay, so from here, you now have this hole and you're gonna go get your polyester fiber fill. And you're just gonna start filling your pineapple. So put as much or as little as you want Depends on how firm you want it. And you want to try to not round the bottom because if you want it to be able to sit nicely. Okay, now you're going to get a darning needle. And you're going to thread your needle and then we're going to sew up this hole and it's going to be rather easy all you need to do is just weave in and out of those stitches and by doing that you're basically just creating Like, uh, like we're just gonna be able to pull it and it'll cinch it up. And then you can just put it through again. Create a couple knots just to be sure. This is going to be hidden underneath the leaves. And then once you're done with that, you can take your needle and stick it all the way through the bottom. And then if you just pull it out a little bit, snip it. I'll just go right back inside. So now we're going to start working on the leaves. So as I said before, I'm using spring green. And this is a very nice leafy color, but you can use any color you like. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to do your slip knot. And 
using our same hook. And I'm going to chain 11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we're going to be going into the second chain from the hook and then doing a single crochet and then do a half double crochet into the next one and half double crochet is going like that and then we're going to do another half double crochet so it starts off like a double crochet and then instead of going through two and then going through two again you're just going to go through all three and now we're going to do double crochet And we're going to do one more. And then we're going to do. So we've done four double crochets. And now we're going to do two more half double crochets. And then a single crochet. So that's going to be one side of the leaf. And then from here you're going to do a chain one. And then go back into that first stitch and do another single crochet. And now we're going to be working up the other side of the chain. So the same as before. You're going to do two half doubles, four double crochets, two half doubles again, and then one single crochet. a little bit tricky and then into the last one as a single crochet and then we're just gonna go back in create a slip stitch And then just cut it off. 
So you're going to have threads come from both ends, so you're just going to want to tie those in. And I made eight, no, eight, twelve of these. And then I just sewed them all to the top. Very simple. So, and then you have your your little pineapple. So I just took all the leaves and I attached them to the top and I just sew them all together. And then that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions, subscribe. Um, don't forget to share with your friends. If you do make this pineapple, I would love to see it. So um, hashtag me or tweet me. And thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.